Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I'm going to talk about care tips for the RAV pen. They're a little bit different to take care of than a RAV Vast. Uh, these take particular attention in certain areas, whereas the RAV Vast is a little more flexible in how you treat it. So I'm going to talk about five things you can do to prolong the life and the health of your instrument. So let's take a look. So at the very base level, when you're playing this instrument, you want to make sure that every time you're in contact with it, after you're done playing it, you just take a microfiber cloth and you wipe the whole thing down. This will prevent any oil buildup or any salts from sweat from corroding this material. This pan is nitrided and it's also brassed on the outside of it, so it has resiliency to rust, but you still want to prevent oxidization of this metal. Um, and they will rust if you just left them alone. So wiping this down helps to make sure that the instrument stays safe from oxidization and rust. You can also use a hand pan care product such as frog lube or phoenix oil, um, but you can also just use a very thin layer of other oils. Some people use coconut oil, um, Rob has recommended various things, but I recommend one of the specific oils for hand pans and RAVs because they're going to provide the best protection and also help dissolve some of the oils on your own hands. And when you do wipe it, make sure that you wipe both the front and back side because it's easy to forget the bottom of the instrument when you're doing it. So another important thing to keep track of is sunlight. When you play these in direct sun, they can temporarily come out of tune. And when they're in this state and they're warm, you don't want to be slamming on them and playing very hard. Now, you shouldn't be playing hard anyways, but that can permanently alter the tuning of the instrument. So if your instrument does get too hot in the sun or if you put it down somewhere and it's exposed to sun, let it cool down before you play it. Um, this will help the longevity of the notes and keep it in tune long term. Um, it usually will shift out because of the expansion of the metal. Where this instrument is based off of tension in the notes rather than the weight of the tongues, when it heats up it expands and when it cools it contracts. Another simple, trip is, another simple tip is to be mindful of your strike force. Unlike the Rav Vast, these have a point where if you hit them any harder it causes the note to blare, uh, which is when a note kind of is vibrating too much and it creates a dissonance between the octave and fifth on it. Um, at that point, it's damaging the instrument or could damage the instrument. So when you're hitting it, it's a very quick, firm, but not overly hard strike. With the Rav Vast and the, the Rav Vast 2, a harder hit usually increases the volume, but it doesn't change the quality of the sound. Um, you can have dynamics in how hard you hit with the Rav Vast, but it's more about the quality of your strike on this instrument that creates a nice sound. So I recommend practicing and seeing where the limit of that strike is and trying to go underneath that rather than pushing the notes to be louder than they need to be. All right, my friends, another important tip is to be mindful of where you're putting your hands or your arms while playing. So resting your elbow on top of the ding or on any of these notes and also putting it face down on something is not recommended. Where this is a tension-based instrument, um, any unwanted tension or pressure applied to it can cause a tuning issue. Like I said as well, the sun is a factor in it coming detuned. So if you have it out in the sun, remember to put it in the shade to cool it down before you continue to play it. Another thing to be mindful of is the rim. If you're putting this instrument down, you don't want to slam against this rim because the glue inside of this is what's holding these two halves together. So if you smack the edge of this rim, it could cause separation of that glue and you don't want that to separate because it'll have to be re-glued by somebody. Um, on all hand pans, that's a point of weakness. So be mindful when you put this down that you're not hitting this edge up against the ground or up against a wall. Um, Chances are it wouldn't open, but just as a safety precaution, be mindful when you put it down or put it up against something for storage. All right, my friends, if you treat your RAV pan 
in the way that I suggested, you will have an instrument that lasts you a very long time and will need very little maintenance and retuning. Um, if you have any personal tips for things that you found out are effective in keeping your instruments safe, let us know below uh, and we can maybe feature that in future content. Hope you guys are well and staying warm and I will talk to you next week. Stay well.